I have something called sapovirus. Now, what is sapovirus? Most people don't know. It is when you ingest the fecal matter of someone else from your food. Oh my God. Christina Applegate is sharing an unfortunate experience that left her unknowingly ingesting someone else's fecal matter. The actress opened up to her co-host Jamie Lynn Sigler on the Two Women's Messy podcast in an episode on April 23rd titled, Can I Be Honest?, about her recent health struggles. The 52-year-old first disclosed that she contracted COVID and then revealed she also got sapovirus, which she describes as ingesting someone else's fecal matter from food, and believes she contracted it from ordering takeout salad. I was so dizzy. I was so sick. I couldn't eat. I couldn't anything. And finally, I had to do one of those, like, samples. Dual test. Which is fun. Yeah. Love collecting. And that's sarcasm, as we know, because you poop into a a, a receptacle, and then you have to scoop your own poop into uh, vials. And it was so gross, I started vomiting whilst doing this. Um, Anywho. Came back, I have something called sapovirus. Now, what is sapovirus? Most people don't know. It is when you ingest the fecal matter of someone else from your food. Oh my God. Someone else's poop is it went in your mouth. Someone else's poop went into my mouth and I ate it. And your body went crazy because that's like, that's not our poop bacteria. No, it's someone else's poop bacteria. The 52-year-old then explained there is no remedy for this and has been feeling ill for three weeks. Is there a remedy for sapovirus? Nope. Oh. Nope and nope. My doctor was like, eat a banana. I was like, yeah, I don't like, first of all, I abhor bananas. I don't know if you know this about me. I didn't. I f***ing hate bananas. The actress revealed she believes she got it from takeout she ordered, despite it being a restaurant she's frequented for years, but would not disclose which one. We have kind of traced it back to takeout. Wow. Salad. Salad. From where? Not going to say. You know, that's doing a disservice to the people. (laughs) Or just call the restaurant and let them know so that they can clean it up. They're closing this week, not because of poop spores, because they lost their lease. But it's a restaurant I've been eating at for 15 years. Like, it's a... Oh vegan place and um i got a salad and and i think that they say that it's mostly from salads because cooked food kind of kills the bacterias christina also noted that people can apparently get the virus from animals if they eat their own feces and also you can get it from your dog's poop so if your dog eats their and then comes to kiss you that's all it takes apparently Now, I'm not a dog kisser. I love my animals, but they are not allowed to put tongue near my holes. Yeah, I don't like that. No holes. So I I don't don't want to kiss in the face. The 52-year-old, who is currently battling MS, continued to detail the incredibly uncomfortable experience and revealed she's wearing diapers. You can't even leave the house when you have something like that. No. I was supposed to go see my brother. He just had a baby a couple, like a, a month ago, and I was supposed to go up a couple weeks ago. And I was like, I in the car like this is not gonna happen and i okay i'm gonna be gross sorry guys i woke up at three o'clock in the morning in a pool of oh christina of oh my gosh didn't know what happened and at having ms at three o'clock in the morning and trying to change your sheets um it's not fun but okay. this brings me to my next point which we can talk about great i'm wearing diapers i've worn them before too yeah, wearing diapers. Yeah. 